In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Backstage menu in Office 2010. The idea behind the menu is to divide the functions of the program into two categories. And most of the functions that you see on the ribbon are about changing the content of your document. So they're things that you do to the document. Whereas the functions inside the Backstage menu are things that you do with the document. Things like printing it, saving it, exporting it, sending it, that sort of thing. So the first tab that's open by default is the Recent Documents tab. So here are the documents that have been opened recently. And you can pin documents to this list by clicking on the pin icon. So they won't, they won't get moved even if you don't open them for a while. They'll still remain there. The top tab is the Info tab. This tab is about um, document permissions and uh, things like metadata that might be hidden within the document. So this first menu gives you a few useful options. You might want to encrypt it with a password. You might want to control what changes can be made, or you might want to make it read-only. This menu helps you to sort out any problems that there might be with sharing your document. So this option here helps you if you've used any fancy text effects in your document that might not work in earlier versions of Word. So it will pinpoint those parts that won't show up properly in an earlier version of the software. This one's good if you're going to share your document with disabled people. And this one enables you to check for any hidden information that might be contained within your document that you can't see or you maybe don't realize it's there. So for example, look at these document properties. The author is, is in there. Now you might want to share that with people and you, might want, and you might not want them to be able to see who the author was. So if you use the inspector, then it will show up any things that, that might be hidden in there that you can't see and let you know about them. This menu helps you to manage previous versions of the file. There aren't any here for you to see, but if there were, you could click back through the changes that you've made. This one contains your various saving and sending options. So the first one is about sending using email. So instead of saving the file and then going into your email program, you can do it directly from within Word. So simply say, send it as an attachment, or you can convert it to a PDF or an XPF and send it as one of those. If you, use your, if you have a Windows Live account, it's free to sign up if you want to get one, um, you can save it onto the web inside your Windows Live account. So you'll just need to sign in there. And then if you have a blog, then you can publish straight to your blog from Word just by logging into your account. And then in this one, you can change the file type. So perhaps you've saved it in the new docx file type that, that comes with Word 2007 onwards. Um, you could change it to an open document text or an older format so that it's easier for other people to use if they don't have a new version of Office. And then there's your basic other file types, plain text and rich text and so on. And then you could just change it to a PDF using that one. The Backstage menu is a major change of position for a lot of the, the important features inside Office. So I hope this tour helps you to find your way.